Hey guys, um, one more thing I want you to do with the poem Dog by Valerie Worth before we look at the journal entry that Jack made about the poem. I want you to remember, I want you to write a summary of the poem. And remember that a summary, it just gives us a brief idea of what the text is about so that we can determine whether or not we, we need or we want to read it. Um, of course, we've already read Dog, but this would be when you're writing a summary would be for someone else. Um, and of course, you read summaries all the time on the back of a book to see if you're interested in reading it. So you're going to write a summary um, of Dog by Valerie Worth. If you go over, um, if you look on our chart uh, about how to write an effective summary, um, if you look at the screen, it looks a little different than our chart, but I want you to remember that it's short, only a few sentences long, about three to six sentences. It provides a brief outline of what the text is about. It introduces the text by stating the title. The author explains, clearly explains the theme or main idea, includes the most important details to support the theme or main idea, and it's written in complete sentences that include a subject and a predicate. Subject's the noun or pronoun or what the sentence is about. The predicate is the verb or the verb phrase that's telling more about the subject than what the subject is doing. So go ahead and if you look on page, the bottom of page 15, um, on the same page that has, I notice, I wonder, a note catcher for dog, if you scroll down, there's a box that says summary. It says 45 on my screen, in my, on my, my screen, but it's page 15 in your workbook. So go ahead and write your summary there. And um, then I, Miss Beard, if you'll pause the video, and I will um, share with you guys uh, an example um, summary, and you can kind of look to see how yours stacks up with that. Okay, so have you written your summary? Does it look a little something like this? Um, So this is the example summary that I. So this is the example summary that I have been given. The poem "Dog" by Valerie Worth. There's the title and the author, the poet. It's about a dog lying under a maple tree. Valerie Worth seems to be telling us. So it's got the main idea and it also has the theme. It seems to be telling us that dogs have a good, almost enviable life. She uses imagery such as yawns, rests his long chin carefully between front paws, which suggests the dog is very relaxed. The lack of rhyme or meter makes the poem feel very relaxed as though Valerie Worth wants to feel as relaxed as the dog. So is this brief? Absolutely. A few sentences. Does it include the title? Yes. The poet? Yes. Their details? Absolutely. So this is a very good summary. Hopefully yours looks very similar to that. Um, the Spirit, if you want to take a look at theirs or just have a few students share, um, I might look at them when I come back um, as well. So... Um, Yep, that's how you write a summary. And we'll have more practice with this. If you still don't have quite have it, it's okay. We'll, we'll get there. Don't worry.